Evan puts into it, and so uh, go support that by subbing. Um, now we're going to be getting this matchup, which definitely is one that both of them are a lot, have a lot of experience with, but, I mean, Dill yeah. is also house, so John has a lot of experience playing against uh, Rob, and I think that based on just how last week went, it might be the sort of thing that gives him an edge. Yeah, and uh, with that said, certainly New York City has no shortage of WeFit trainers, being that with John and with Louis Jesus as well, uh, performing very well. This is certainly a matchup that um, that both these players should be familiar with. Uh, Rob is just a common character in general. Um, oh, would have liked to have seen a punish. That upset is definitely not safe on block. Um, ooh, the gyro stuffing out the uh, soccer ball there. However, uh, we're seeing a fairly even game, but the, the, the item play from John has been incredibly good so far. It's also, the, oh my god, yeah, it's but, brilliant also because of the fact that John is, when, notice when he gets it in his hand, he starts using his special moves in order to maintain it in his hand and yet still apply pressure, still give himself an opening possibly. While also uh, utilizing that Z-Drop Nair, which is so good for Reefer Chainer, covers a whole lot of um, time and space. Oh, got a match, bro. John has the match. John plays hella mini games. Mario Party, dude. He's yes. a Mario Party champion. He's a ma look. He's he's the, the the world Nintendo champion of 2015. He's got to have the match. Got to have the match. Um, with that said, John continuing to live here. Um, oh, and that's enough. Taking the stock up air with with deep breathing. That was also fantastic timing and spacing to just straight up beat out the. Oh, oh my gosh. god! I don't need forty-eight percent. I'm scared to finish this. Oh single god! Time. How did that hit? He extended his hurt box, maybe, or maybe it's just that Rob is a big, big. <laughs> Rob big, is big a robot. large lad. Oh, not enough just yet. John again, the immaculate mash. Oh, that was, even though he parried it, the fact that the neutral air connected mm -hmm. on the soccer ball is what put John Numbers off stage. And uh, Gyro Snipe shortly thereafter, now going to have still John up by a completely pure stock. And with that said, um, you know, John has been uh, rather uh, good so far in terms of keeping out uh, Zamba. But Zamba has responded excellently despite the huge disadvantage that, um, that he has uh, had himself put in. Oh, another big combo possibly starting oh, up for John. <laughs> a huge tech chase there by John as well. That side beyond the platform covered so much. That Did you see uh, attacks coming in from all angles? He got pincer formationed by John Numbers projectiles there. Wow. Excellent. Oh, my gosh. I think John maybe not recognizing the, the huge percent there. That Nair up smash is a confirm, but certainly only around that 67% percent mark. Is it, are you sure it's not a hitbox thing? Like, is there a specific hitbox of it? Yeah, it's, it's hit one of the Nair. It's hit one into Nair to up smash. But it, it, is, it is still percent specific. That okay. does have uh, base knockback. So... High recovery by Zamba. Gets back down. Uh, a nice mix-up by him. And However, a tough situation for Zamba regardless. I am... Oh, now he has Gyro in hand. I was going to say that, you know, a character like Rob, we've all seen the zero to deaths he can do, but he needs a Gyro in hand in order to do it. <gasps> Why not? Oh! And John with an excellent bait there. Um, ends up getting past Zamba with the roll. And Zamba... Uh, you know, Rob's dash grab is fairly laggy. And it's certainly a punishable option. Weaver Trainer, having that fast F tilt, ends up allowing John to take that stop. Also, very bad range on it, meaning that John yeah. could, you know, uh, go for the roll, or like, like sort of be more generous with it. But mm -hmm. no, that is a fantastic baiting tool. When you see it, it's like all of a sudden your eyes flash red and you're like, I need to stop him from doing that. Otherwise, he has deep breathing. Otherwise, he's going to kill me. But he basically cancels it with shield into any defensive option he wants. So it's... It, 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 it does, of course, if you don't, if you cancel it, I believe it takes longer to charge it up again later. Yeah. Uh, so there's a little bit of a risk involved, but I mean... <laughs> and with that said, um, one thing that I have noticed in general, and uh, I like how you know John immediately banned FD. John has done a really excellent job. Oh my gosh, scary situation for, for uh, John there. John has done a really, really... Wow, great neck recognition by Zamba. Catches the air dodge, and it's going to scoop up that stock. John has done a really good job of playing in neutral, of playing under the platforms, but Zamba has started to adapt to that, not going for nares on approaches, but going for those dash attacks, going for those dash grabs, going for a laser approach or gyro approach into mm. an aggressive option. That sanitation was frames away from connecting, but a good tech option Ooh. from Zomba. 
Wonderful option there from Numbers, though. Getting that back air is huge for him. Otherwise, this game could have escalated way out of his control really quickly. You do know that at low percents, Rob can dish out tons of damage. But as it stands, John is planking, putting himself willingly on the ledge right now. Maybe not such a great call, considering it seems that Zomba has figured out how to not only keep him there, but keep the damage coming. Yeah, and these anti airs have been so good from Zomba so far in this game. We've seen every time uh, John has put himself into a full hop height or a short hop height at the ledge, Zomba has come out and responded with a really good anti air. Ooh. Ooh, scary situation there, looking for an air, one into back air. Not going to be able to connect it, but now Zamba in disadvantage. Rob can have trouble getting down here. Ooh, that huge hitbox of Nair, though, getting Zamba down. That's going to be a... Oh, that's not enough to do it. But now we do have deep breathing in effect on willingly getting hit by the Ooh. gyro, just to give him enough rage that that up air could kill. And I that's... Say. Ooh, wow, <laughs> scoops, hugging dogs. Was that... Um, was that because of hurtbox extension, or is that just that move has scoops? That move does have scoops. But that, I think, was a little bit of hurtbox extension as well by John uh, with that Nair first extending outward and then inward. Uh, that outward part got caught by the uh, by the up smash, and it will be a stock for Zamba. And we are fairly even going into this last stock here. Not enough. Not yet. Yes. However, that's still a scary situation for John. Getting back against uh, Rob after you get side is scary, but John coming up with the aggressive option and gets off ledge with a jab. Oh, those neutral airs, those were, uh, John was punishing them before, but all of a sudden now, Zomba's using them to get back down to the stage for free, pretty much. Not necessarily a guarantee he can rely on too much, but at this, look at the percent difference between these two. It is negligible. John willingly putting himself on ledge. Wow. So smart. The soccer ball extended the bear there, forcing Zomba to be in hit lag in place, and John was able to get a forward tilt. That was excellent placement by John. Is he dead? No, the DI comes out from John. Oh, but he has no jump. Puts himself on the ledge once more. John does have a little bit of a lead here, but no deep breathing means that F tilt is not really going to be close to killing. Oh, nice parry. Oof, but again, that auto spacing ability of that move is so good. Forward throw again, knowing that numbers has been has been mashing out at that uh, mid percent range or like 101, 105. That's like the third time he's had that aggressive forward air work out for him, and that time you see that Zomba was anticipating with the down. Oh, that didn't, that didn't grab! That didn't grab! Excuse me! Excuse me! Oh, what? Okay, let's let's take a look at this. Come on. We got some we got some more time to go through here. Look Carno at that. Carnival Ow. game! Ow. Yes! <laughs> I love Rob. Rob is sick. Rob is sick. Alright, we're gonna be moving on to this next game, but I wanna save this replay because I wanna <laughs> dwell on that more. I That was truly an incredible interaction. I love uh, that must have been pixels, right? That, uh, it had to have been. That must have been Rob's pixels. skinny center certainly helped him out there. No, but like shields are grabbable, right? No, it's the character's hurt box. Is it the character's in the hurt shield? Box? You can, you, you can. There, I mean, most characters, their, their shield is their hurt box, um, but Rob is, is is the exception to the rule and but has his been. Hands stick, does he cool? No, because his arms go out. He's not even that skinny. So we we for trainers uh, grab is below her arms, so that's why. So she can grab short characters. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> But then characters who only the middle of them is skinny. skinny. Yeah, so just Rob, uh, that happens on occasion. So, uh, not need needless to say, a rare interaction in the last. Ooh. And with that, all that time, Zava has been doing an excellent job of keeping John at ledge. And while we normally say, oh, well, John's just at ledge because he's choosing to be at ledge, no, Zama was forcing John onto ledge that game. Uh, we've seen John very often has been staying center stage in this matchup, not wanting to really force himself into the corner. However, Zamba has done an excellent job of forcing. Oh! He's alive. Still alive. Boy. Yeah, that was uh, a little bit of a statement by Zamba. Nice down nah, smash. This is the sort of thing where I feel like the reason that the game ended the way it did last nice. time has just John is he's not quite able to get into it his heart is no. not in the right place right now because across the stage Zomba is still doing all of this damage John needs to focus on getting his composure back because otherwise this is just going to be a reverse 2-0 taking him out of the tournament or into losers at least Ooh. and that is going to be stock number one for John John is certainly no stranger to comebacks of this sort uh, we saw it against Sinji. Uh, however, uh, against Rob, it can simply be one interaction when he has gyro in hand that can end the stock. 
Um, we're going to see if Zama's able to pull that off. Uh, does now have that gyro in hand. Uh, throws it at John. However, John now starting to zone out. Uh, Zamba doing an excellent job of it. The parries on all these projectiles have been so on point. But every time he misses a parry, it really hurts. The fact that John has, doesn't have a stock left he can work with. But honestly, I, I think that, you know, when you look at the way he was playing at the beginning of this game versus right now, it is a world of difference. Yeah. He realized, okay, I yeah, I got psyched out a little bit by the end of that last game, probably. No I need jump. to recollect myself. And that's what he's done. This is still, you know, he's not, he has not made this comeback a reality just quite yet. But based on the way he's playing right now, I don't think Zomba can be too comfortable in the least. No. And, and we, we, we've seen, even though Zamba has gotten the 60% extra credit, John really went 100% without, or do it, did 100% without taking any damage to himself. Looking for that up tilt, down smash coming out, down tilts now. Those down tilts are going to be Zamba's key here. Keeping John in the corner, pressuring him with that move is certainly a way to kind of force for Chainer. Ooh, looking forward oh. that far off, but missing attack, and that's going to be costly. 70% on John is certainly a, a, a feasible comeback Percentage. Weaver Jenner can live a quite a long time, despite not necessarily being the heaviest. That deep breathing certainly helps a lot. Yeah, but just because she's floating, those off the top moves are going to kill quite early. But it's worth noting, I don't think we've seen a single up air kill. Mm. I don't think we've seen a single like down throw to up air kill this entire set so far. And, and that has certainly been to the credit of John Ooh. being able to mash out of those down throws so, so well. Um, and right now, it's it's been certainly really tough for Zamba to get in. Looking for that down to down smash. Looking for a down throw bear. Does John. Doesn't end up getting it. That was so... He realized that he could have gotten the timing, but then he would have gotten punished for it. He was forced to air dodge just to avoid dying right there. And now John at 132% off stage manages to get the gyro, yes. and that helps him come back. But... Oh, rolls in. Rob down smash is going to be enough. Zamba, despite the scary situation that John was putting out there, um... Really, a, 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 the makings of a comeback. Zamba does and is able to clutch it, to clutch it out over John. Catches the roll in and down smashes. Had that coverage at the ready. Yeah. After that nair. Like, let's really think about all yeah. of the options that that covers. Uh, if we can go back here, just. To I think we are gonna have to do a quick caster swap here in just a second. But oh, yes, so the, 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 yeah, that like, really does cover. He goes in for this neutral there. That covers jump. Uh, that yeah. covers, I believe, like drop down and jump back up. Yeah, uh, with timing, neut neutral get up, covers get up attack if John did that. Yeah, and then l the exact spacing he went to here, I believe that would he, if he had stayed there, if he didn't roll in, would he have still gotten hit by that down? Uh, Weaver's trainer, I think, is too narrow to do so. Um, however, I think he he was anticipating that. Certainly a nice read by Zamba. Yeah, yeah. And just able to get stuck with a non committal it, down smash. Yeah, and it also would have co like punished roll on to yeah. stage as well. Yeah. If John had instead gone for the roll. Yes. So just beautiful coverage at the end right there. Um, great stuff to both players, but we're going to be having a winner's final that I believe is King Ark versus Zomba. Uh, that sounds like it's going to be really exciting, although I think uh, we're going to be doing a caster swap in just a moment. We are. So, it has been a blast, Mr. Salty Fun. Of course, it's been it's been a while. It's been far too long. It's been a it's been a hot minute. If minutes lasted for 16 months. With that said, follow this man at at Salty Fun underscore SSB. Follow and me at Shoulder Bash. Yeah, yeah. And we will see you in just a few minutes while we swap casters for Winners Finals.